Hello guys, today I want to present a new creation by Tim McDonald, official Laravel team member, which is validation errors card for Laravel polls. It will allow you to see validation errors that are happening for your users. So you would improve your forms or information or hints or placeholders to avoid those validation errors in the future. And I will demonstrate that validation card in action. I tried it out. It works really well. For those of you who don't know what Laravel Pulse is, it's a pretty new thing in Laravel 11. Here is the official homepage of Laravel Pulse, pulse.laravel.com. It basically is a dashboard to show various things in real time for your application like usage, queues, cache, slow queries, and you can create your own custom cards for basically whatever you want. That tool is free and pretty easy to start with. There's an official video by Christoph on the official Laravel channel to get started. So I will link that as well in the description below. But in my project, let me demonstrate you the card of validation errors. So here's a simple form with just two fields. Both are required. Here's the controller of request validate required and minimum three symbols for title and 10 symbols for the body. So for example, if I put in two symbols here, which is not enough, but still some value. I get validation error. Here, the title must be at least three characters and the body is required. Now let's load the pulls dashboard for this project. And here it is. On the left side, you can see card. I will actually zoom that in. Validation errors with specific URLs and what validation error happened. If I do it Again, for example, the title is fine now, but the body is still required. Laravel Pulse would show that the count of that validation error is two. Let's try another page. I have a separate create link with other validation errors. For example, too big number here, required, required, and another validation error. And now Laravel Pulse dashboard looks like this, listing all the errors from all the URLs. So that would allow you to actually monitor what happens for your user, so not exceptions. This is different. It's not a bug, it's not an exception, it's not something to fix immediately. But if you notice some validation error happening quite frequently, it means that you need to change something in the form, improve the user experience to increase the likelihood of submitting the form correctly. Now, how does that thing work after you install Laravel Pulse and configure that? This is the documentation for that specific validation errors card. You do compose a require and add a recorder, so-called recorder, to your configuration of polls. There are a few things that you can configure. For example, ignore some URLs or specify the grouping of URLs. Also important warning to configure the sample rate to avoid capturing too much data. And then whenever you need that, you add that card on the polls dashboard. Also, you may ignore some specific error messages, for example, with filter and add some logic related to entry key. That entry key, by the way, comes in the database here. I have three tables related to Laravel polls, polls aggregates, entries, and values. So entries is what we're interested in, validation error. And here, one of the validation error things is title field is required. So you can filter by that error message text, for example, here. What do you think about this approach? Have you monitored ever validation messages like this in your projects? I will admit I never have. I've been always interested in the bugs, exceptions and errors, but not validation errors. I think it's a great, brilliant idea by Tim McDonald. So thank you, Tim, again. And pretty sure a lot of people will use that in their application with Laravel Pulse. I will link all the mentioned resources in the description below so you can try Laravel Pulse and subscribe to the channel to get more videos about Laravel ecosystem tools and their demonstrations. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.